Hello everyone, how all you have been doing? I hope your preparations are going well. So, in one of our previous sessions, we have discussed a very important relationship from the theory of cost, that is the relationship between the average variable cost and average product. If any one of you wants to have the session on that topic, you can simply click on the right side of the card that is visible on your screen and visit to the session. So here, again, we are going to uh, discuss a very important relationship from the theory of cost. And this time, we are going to talk about a relationship between the marginal cost and the marginal product. So here, let me also tell you that this marginal cost is nothing but the short run marginal cost or you can also write it as SMC. Now this relationship, MC and uh, marginal product that is marginal MP, this relationship is also very much important from the exam point of view because again if the pattern is MCQ pattern then there are some options that are very much confusing especially at the time when you are appearing for the exam. So that is why understanding and the remembrance of these topics and the relationships is very much important for uh, in order to crack these exams. Now, so without any further ado, let's begin our today's session. That is the relationship between the marginal product and marginal cost curve. So before starting, you have to remember again, I'm going to make you understand in some of these steps that you have to remember. Just like the way we did it in our previous session, that is the relationship between the average product and the average variable curve. So here also I'm going to mark the few steps that you have to remember. And if you remember that those steps, simply the relationship will be established. So number one thing that you have to remember is the, uh, what is the definition of marginal cost curve? Marginal cost, that is the change in the total cost divided by change in the output i'm erasing this so sorry. uh i'm erasing this short run marginal cost okay so marginal cost curve is this thing okay and you also have to remember that marginal cost is only dependent on the variable cost and not on the fixed cost so marginal cost does not depend on the fixed cost it always depends on the variable cost so from this statement we can write that marginal cost is equal to change in total variable cost and total divided by the delta q that is change in output i'm not uh, exclusively writing the terms because i hope you can get hold of that Okay, so how I am writing this thing from here? It is because total cost is equal to total variable cost plus of total fixed cost. And MPC does not depend on this. So change in fixed cost is zero. And that is why it is only TVC. Okay, so this thing, this is number one thing that you have to remember. Next comes that what is TVC? TVC is basically W into L. What is W? W is the price of the wages. Let me mention. It is the wages given to labors and L is what? It is the labor. So here L is our variable factor because wage cannot change. Right? Only the thing that can change is the variable factor and which is our L. So that is why if I have to write delta TVC it will be um, delta of L into W. Okay. This is the thing that you have to remember. Now, this is the second thing. Next thing you have to do is to substitute this value that is delta TVC value on this. Let me mark it as equation number 1 and let me mark it as equation number 2. So now you have to substitute 2 into 1. substitute 2 in 1, you will simply get what? Marginal cost MC that is equal to what? Delta DVC and delta DVC is what? It is this thing. W into delta L. I am simply going to write that. Okay. W into delta N and divided by delta Q. The denominator remains constant. 
Now stay focused. So here it is again what? That is W and here we have delta L divided by delta Q. Isn't it? I hope you can see it. Okay, let me write it here. So this is W delta L by of delta Q. Isn't it? This is the stuff that we are getting which is equal to marginal cost. Okay. Let me mark it as equation number 3. This thing is also important. Okay, as I am short of space, I will have to erase some part. Okay. Now, from 3, stay up till that, we are clear. Now, let's talk about the marginal product. So, this is the second thing that you have to remember. After that, this is the third thing that you have to remember. What is marginal product? Marginal product is the change in total output due to one unit change in the input. Isn't it? So, MP is what? Delta Q by delta L. Okay. And if we just simply reciprocate it, that means 1 by MP, that is equal to our delta L by delta Q. And this is by delta Q. Now, delta L by delta Q, let me mark this equation as equation number 4. So, this if we substitute this 4 equation in equation number 3, then we are simply going to have a relationship between the marginal cost and marginal product curve. Let's see what it is. Okay. So, now what I am doing, marginal cost equal to W into delta L divided by delta Q. This is our equation number 3. Now, what I'm saying is that I'm going to substitute 4 into 3. So, substituting 4 in 3, what do we have? It is simply MC equal to 1 by MP. Isn't it? So, here also we have a relationship which is Marginal cost is inversely related to the marginal product. What is happening? What does this relationship actually implies? It implies that if marginal product is increasing or decreasing, the opposite is going to affect, the opposite is going to happen to the marginal cost curve. That means if MP, let's say it is rising, so here MC will be decreasing. Okay? Again, if MP is decreasing, we have MC increasing. Okay, so in this fashion, these two are related. That means they are inversely proportional. And here, W is a constant. It is just a constant form, which is given in the form of a W. And here, W is what? It is the price of the labor. That is the variable factor. Okay, so this is all about the relationship between the marginal product curve and marginal cost curve. So I hope this session was pretty much helpful to you and especially in clearing some of these stuffs that are blur in our mind that what is the basic definition and what is the basic relationship between this and that. I hope these sessions are helping you in clearing those stuffs and if it is please show your support by hitting the like button and if you are new to our channel do subscribe our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any update from our channel. And for any further query, feel free to contact us via WhatsApp. The number is visible on your screen. And also you can mail us through our official mail ID that is ecopedia02 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you very much. You can also comment us below what are the further topics that you want us to cover in our upcoming sessions. We will be very glad to provide you a session on that. Thank you very much for the love support. See you in the next one. Until then, have a very nice day.